In this video, we'll show you everything you need to know to set up your battalion bindings. You will need a number three screwdriver to set up your bindings. In the binding box, you will find one pair of battalion bindings, two 4x4 mini discs, eight screws, and eight washers. Also included is the Never Miss a Day Care Package that contains spare screws and ladders in case you need to replace them in the future. You can also order new spare parts from our website if you ever need them. Place your board somewhere where the base won't be damaged and the board's edges won't scratch anything. Have your boots close by as you will need them later on. To mount your bindings, you need to know if you ride goofy or regular. Goofy means you ride with your right foot forward and regular means you ride with your left foot forward. If you don't know, ask a friend to push you from behind and see what foot you place forward to catch yourself. That's likely the foot you want in front. Next is figuring out your stance width. If you have the correct size snowboard, the reference stance is a good place to start. You can also stand on your board without bindings to see what feels natural and place the bindings there. The reference stance is the recommended stance that is most centered over the board's turning radius. Being centered on the turning radius will provide the best riding experience. There are situations where you might want to mount your bindings further back. For example, when you're confronted with some seriously deep powder, don't stress too much, you can always adjust later. Place the bindings on the board, ensuring you have them facing the right way. Battalion bindings are marked left and right on the bottom of the foot pad. You know the bindings are placed correctly when the buckles are facing out. Now it's time to determine your stance angles. On the disc, you will find markings with numbers that represent the binding stance angles in three degree increments. Place the discs in the binding, making sure the markings line up with the markers on the base plate. Stance angles are a personal preference. If you don't know your angles, it's good to start with your front foot at plus 15 and your back foot at zero and take it from there. When you test these angles at the mountain, feel if your knees want more or less angle. Your front foot angle should always be positive and never negative. Your back foot angle can be either positive or negative. A positive back foot angle can help you with carving turns, where a negative back foot angle will make it easier to ride switch. Experiment with your angles to see what works best for you. Start with the front binding and mount your screws diagonally. Don't tighten them all the way yet. You want to make sure the binding is centered and the disc is before tightening all the way. We recommend that you never use a mechanical drill as you could damage your bindings or snowboard. Before you continue, check if your binding is sized correctly by strapping in your boot and checking that it's centered on the board and has good contact with the footbed. If your toes are sticking out further than your heels, it means you need to size up your binding. If your heels are sticking out further than your toes, then you need to size down your bindings. We will explain how to do this in a moment. Finally, you can adjust the positioning of the foot pad to optimize the contact with the boot. Now, repeat the mounting procedure for your back binding. To adjust the straps, strap your boots into the bindings and tension the straps. Check if the toe and ankle straps are centered side to side over your boot. To adjust strap position, release the toolless adjust clip on the inside of the straps and adjust the straps until they are centered. It's important to have a centered boot position on your board. Battalion bindings are fully adjustable. How this works depends on the model of binding you have. To size adjust an ASIM wrap binding, first loosen, but do not completely undo the size adjuster screws on the side of the base. Next, remove the foot pad to locate the third size adjuster screw. Loosen, but do not completely undo this screw. Now you can adjust the size of the base plate in one of four positions. Size adjustment is easier if you first loosen your binding screws. Tighten the screws and close the foot pad. Size adjusting full wrap bindings follows the same procedure, but there's a fourth size adjust screw on the front of the base. Take note that the e destroyer base is not size adjustable. If your binding is equipped with kink ladders, you can also adjust the angle of the ankle strap. 
By mounting the kink ladder in the low position, you get a lower strap angle, allowing for more side-to-side -side boot flex and tweak. Mounting the kink ladder in the high position gets you a higher strap angle for a more locked-in feel. To switch kink ladder position, simply take the ladder from the right binding and put it on the left binding, and vice versa. Feel free to experiment with different strap angles and find out what feels the best for you. You can also try how it feels to have different kink ladder positions on the inside versus the outside of the binding. Most battalion bindings offer the possibility to change the high back rotation. The idea is to have your high back as much aligned with your heel edge as possible, no matter the angle of the binding, to allow for maximum power transfer. To change binding rotation, loosen but do not undo the high back rotation adjuster screws. Now rotate the high back to the desired position and tighten the screws. For some maximum angles, it is necessary to flip the asymmetrical washer to allow for more angle. To adjust forward lean, simply flip open the forward lean clip at the back of the high back and slide the forward lean adjuster to its desired position. Moving the adjust down creates more forward lean angle, while moving it up reduces the forward lean angle. The forward lean angle determines how direct your board will feel, and it's most beneficial for riding groomers. Forward lean is a personal preference and a bit of a love-hate thing, so make sure to experiment and see what it does for your riding. It's not unusual to put more forward lean on your back foot than on your front foot. If you have a pair of Adam bindings, the forward lean adjust is located on the inside of the high back arms. To adjust, loosen but do not undo the screws and slide the adjuster up or down to the desired position. Make sure to check your bindings on a regular basis and check if all your screws are still tight after riding as vibrations and impact could cause them to loosen slightly over time. Also, check your ladders and strap for wear over time because lift lines can be brutal on your equipment. If anything breaks, remember you're covered by warranty and you have your never miss a day care package that comes with your bindings.